What's going on, guys? I am Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers, giving you guys a video on the potential Aurora upcoming. Before we dive all into this, we do have a shout out to give to our sponsor, as always, Cats Roofing and Siding, 517 485 9886. They cover roofing, siding, windows, and gutters across the Lansing, Battle Creek, South Central Michigan areas. Feel free to give them a call. Tell them MSC sent you. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in. We do have a solar flare that launched off the sun, a coronal mass ejection or a CME for short. What that means is plasma and charged particles have exited the sun and have been flung toward Earth. When those charged particles slam together with the Earth's magnetosphere, it can cause the aurora. So the solar flare that happened this morning was an X9.05 flare which is the largest solar flare of the current 11-year solar cycle that we are in. So what that means is the solar flare was a big one. It's the 15th largest on record. With that being said, the modeling coming out for this CME that was launched does indicate that we do have some potential for an earthward uh, solar storm. Here is a model here. The little uh, white dot in the center right over here is the sun and this little uh, square or should I say circular uh, yellow circle here is earth and then that uh, color so to speak the color uh, I guess you can see the ejection there does impact earth there so basically all I'm saying is that earth is in the strike zone of this CME that was launched the arrival of this latest one will be Saturday evening or around that time frame. We can't get too exact with that, never really can uh, with the CME. So plus or minus 12 hours could arrive earlier on Saturday or perhaps early Sunday morning. But right around the Saturday afternoon and evening time frame, watch for this arrival. But pump the brakes. We have more coming. The SWPC, the people in charge of making the forecast, do have a G2 watch and a G3 watch in effect for tonight, Thursday, as well as Friday night and have not yet analyzed Saturday night. So we may have three days or three nights, should I say, a potential aurora here. However, we here at MSC think that Friday night and Saturday night are the ones to watch closely. There currently is no indication of an arrival of anything tonight, which is on Thursday. So we may have a pretty quiet night, but we remain alert just in case. We just think the better potential definitely arrives sometime tomorrow for so Friday. And with that latest X flare this morning uh, coming in for Saturday night. So We'll watch all three days. We'll keep you guys updated. Statewide viewing every single night possible. Highest chances Friday night, Saturday night. No details just yet. Cloud cover for the nights ahead here. The NAM going out to the, uh, go ahead and do the uh, RDPS first here. Give me a second to load this up. Average cloud cover for tonight. Should anything happen tonight, the UP will be in clouds. Southern and central lower Michigan will be in clear skies. Further north you go, the more clouds you run into. Those will spread south and east through the night. So the further south you are, the better chances you're going to see aurora tonight if anything does happen. Pay attention to the page. We'll have you guys updated for that. Tomorrow for Friday night, this is the cloud cover for tomorrow night. Just a few high passing clouds here should not be too big of a deal. They shouldn't be a blanketed overhead. You know, they should be able to see through these clouds. They should be pretty thin and they should be pretty quick moving. So viewing tomorrow, definitely better than tonight for most of Michigan. And then going back to the NAM model for Saturday night, because the RDPS does not load out to, um, to Saturday just yet. But looking at the NAM model here, uh, for the cloud cover come Saturday, we're looking at mainly clear skies, again, for central and southern lower Michigan. But for the UP and western and perhaps northern lower Michigan, we're going to have perhaps a cloud deck to work with come Saturday night into Sunday morning. So the best viewing potential for all of us will be Friday night. But it looks like south Michigan and perhaps central Michigan will have viewing every single night, which is ideal. Let's keep an eye on that. We'll keep you guys updated on our Facebook page in regards to the forecast, how it's looking, and also the cloud cover and where to uh, kind of plan on going to see the Aurora. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll have you guys updated through Facebook as well as our Patreon. If you want to be alerted for Patreon, um, uh, if you want to be alerted when Aurora is happening in Michigan, we offer a Patreon here. Uh, Michigan, store, or, uh, Michigan Aurora Alerts, uh, patreon.com forward slash Michigan Aurora Alerts. You can go ahead and sign up for $1 per month. Anytime the Aurora is visible south of Mount Pleasant, we will send an alert out to you guys. Link is in the description, completely optional. You can still get all the updates here on Facebook. We just can't push notifications to you guys on Facebook. So hence why we're using Patreon to do that. And hence why there is a small fee for that. With that being said, 
stay tuned to the page. We'll have you guys updated all throughout the next couple of days. We're excited here. Hope you guys are too. Fingers crossed for a viewing of the Aurora the next couple of nights here in Michigan.